What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Rock Guitar School. So today we're talking about basically a potential Van Halen tribute show. Now, there is there's been talk about this, you know, for the past couple of years. You know, obviously, uh, when Eddie passed away in October 2020, that really wasn't possible, you know, with with all the stuff that was going on, you know, with the pandemic and all that stuff. So this has been going on for a long time. And there's been so many different discussions of trying to pull something like that this off. Obviously, Van Halen is a it's not just four guys, you know, it's a multitude of people that have to get involved with this whole thing. And basically, you know, what it comes down to is, you know, the dynamics between all these different people, you know, Sammy Hagar doesn't get along with David Lee Roth. Alex Van Halen, you know, we're going to see in this article is, is not taking Sammy Hagar's calls, you know, Wolfgang Van Halen is basically leading the charge. He's the one that's actually, you know, out there. Well, you know, Sammy Sammy Hager is out touring with with uh, Michael Anthony with his own band. So, you know, according to this article, like Sammy Hagar is on board with this whole thing. You know, Sammy Hagar always seems like the one, like he's just like, you know, he wants to go out there, play the music. And I think it would be really cool, you know, to be honest with you, I think it would be really cool to see Sammy, Wolfgang, Michael Anthony, Alex Van Halen play something. I mean, do some sort of tribute show. You know, David Lee Roth, I don't see him ever getting up on stage with Sammy Hagar. I mean, I mean, it didn't work on the tour that they did in the uh, the 2000s. They didn't get along. You know, I remember seeing a VH1 special of how, you know, Sammy was trying to, you know, get David Lee Roth on stage with him and like he locked the door and like all this stuff. Like Kid Rock like tried to, you know, get something going and like he didn't understand it and like they it just didn't work. You know, they basically didn't want to see each other uh, you know, backstage, so they had to separate separate them. You know, of course that happened with with, with Sammy and Eddie during that early 2000 tour that they did. So, like, there's all sorts of crazy stuff that goes on with Van Halen, unfortunately. I mean, the music is amazing. Unfortunately, it's 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 such a dysfunctional family. I mean, we all know, you know, what happens, you know, with that sort of situation. And that's exa the exact thing with, with what's going on with Van Halen. So I'm going to read through this article, guys, and you can kind of, you know, give me a comment below. You know, I think... I think we'll kind of clear some things up here. Sammy Hagar says Wolfgang is Van Halen now. Sammy Hagar said Eddie Van Halen's son Wolfgang effectively held the band's legacy on his own and accepted that dysfunction meant a previously discussed tribute event for the late guitarist might never happen. Reports circulated after former Metallica bassist Jason Newsted said he'd been asked to take part, along with Joe Satriani, but further comments from those potentially involved suggested the plan was going nowhere. Wolfgang recently said everyone in the Van Halen organization was very dysfunctional, suggesting a tribute show would never take place. In a new interview with Eddie Trunk on Sirius XM's Trunk Nation show, Hagar said he'd been asked by the band's manager, Irving Azoff, if he'd like to take part in an event featuring bassist Michael Anthony and drummer Alex Van Halen, along with an unnamed celebrity guitarist. I said, I'll do anything with Alan Mike and play music with people, but it's not going to be Van Halen. The singer reported, there is no Van Halen. Wolfie is Van Halen, okay? And he doesn't want to be the Van Halen copy band. I don't blame him. He's doing a great job on his own stuff, and it's very cool when he jams a little bit here and there. He's Van Halen. And if he wanted to play guitar with Alan, Mikey, and myself, I would love to do that. Turning to the problems surrounding a potential reunion, Hagar said, Alex Van Halen and I don't talk. I reached out to Alex and he wouldn't return my call or email. And, and so I said, you know what? F it. It's not on the top of my list. My agenda. I think Eddie deserves definitely a tribute. And the whole world would show up and the whole world would do it. 
He also confirmed he wasn't on speaking terms with original singer David Lee Roth. He'd want to do a tribute show without me, Hagar asserted. I'm sure that's part of the dysfunction that Wolfie's talking about. What do you want to bet that Roth goes, I will only do it if Hagar is not there. And if that were the case, that's typical Roth. And that's part of the dysfunction. It's not like he controls it. It's just he doesn't play well with others. If Alex came to me and wanted to do it, I'm in. Hagar repeated, but Alex has got to stick up his ASS about something with me, still, and he's got to take it to the grave, I guess. I don't think I made peace with Al, and I don't think I'm going to unless he reaches back out to me. I've done it about five times now. Hagar insisted he didn't know what he did to anger the drummer. Alex and I actually got along better than Ed and I at times. Through the hard times, Alex and I still got along, but I don't know what happened. Somebody poisoned him. Somebody told him something. Maybe he still doesn't like my book, which was the most honest thing I've ever done in my life. Some people just don't think that that should have been done.